Hello beautiful people, welcome back. It's Anders Kogintu back again to the roots of today. Gonna be a fantastic day ever possible coming out from uh, home here, live live. And uh, it's uh, around uh, at what time? Let me check the time guy. So as I can see what is ongoing. It's uh, 16.23. So that's now when the vlog gonna be starting one on one. Hey, the dogs are here always waiting for me. They wanna be in this. So guys, uh, welcome back. If uh, you have never subscribed, subscribe to Sanders Kogin to back again to the roots. Hey, I'm hearing some noise from this position here. Let me hear the wagwan, wagwan. How are you? Oh, yeah. Ah, I'm very, very fine. Fine. This is the chaff cutter we have. Fantastic. Wow. So this is us uh, mantling some of uh, the grass, which is, um, we can talk about, uh, is a nature grass and uh, it has the ordinary grass and uh, this is how the operation is done here so this is the operation room uh, this is called the cs cs operation here so in this uh, this room everything is very manual so whenever they mantle such kind of uh, the grass here now they go to this machine we have a german machine here hey, hey look at this hello yes. come on come on come on come on come on so this is the little material and uh, it, hey, it's very, very, very full. Hey, you know guys, everything is very fantastic. This is the area where they are sleeping and the milking parlor, but milking parlor, I see it's sealed already. We have the other spaces that is provided for sleeping. So guys, uh, from this position here, uh, we have uh, this called uh, an Asha and it's a little mat here. The name is Lelmet. And uh, this is the guy who is uh, operating here, the grass and everything like that. And uh, everything is making sense from this position at home. So guys, uh, keep it in touch, keep it locked. And this is the beginning. Now I am out of my home here. And I want to be... Some people talked about uh, 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 the sweet... Uh, they are called uh, sweet what? They are called sweet peas. I want to be seeing the sweet peas here. Hello? Hamu yes. Jamboli? Yeah, she's uh, plucking some of um, uh, the greens for the hospital. I talked about uh, I have a hospital tender, so I'm going to be making sure that everything is possible. So here is a kitchen garden, a small one here. So I want to be plucking some of uh, the green. They talked about uh, the sweet peas. They are saying... Uh, they are about to be harvested, but a little bit. Wow, this one's here. Guys, whenever it reaches the time, you can just come and check. These ones now, they are uh, exactly, they are now good for, even you can pluck them and go and cook this one. So whenever it reaches time, you can just pluck them and uh, it is this way. And you remove, you just open the pod. Even one hand can even do that one. So, wow. They are just splitting. So these are called the sweet sweet peas. I like that. Wow. So for the people who are talking about the sweet peas, these are the sweet peas we are talking about. Mm -hmm. So they are here. German. Fantastic. Oh, I have a kitchen garden besides my home here. Wow. Here's the kitchen garden. A little bit smaller, but uh, more punctual at this place. This is the, the chicken, <laughs> the poultry area. So this is how it looks like from inside. From outside here, it has an open space. But here we have a uh, cocoa yam. People are talking about these cocoa yams can be eaten. I don't know if it's possible, I don't know. I cannot talk about that one because I know I'm a dwarf in terms of cocoa yam. Here we say it's like, uh, they are, uh, we can talk, they are like, uh, uh, poisonous to us we cannot take them they are like uh, flowers we take them as flowers exactly wow let me go now to a little bit to see how things are running outside from this position to Nyabuhansi a little bit then uh, i'm gonna be concluding my video from that position and everything gonna be very very fantastic oh somebody calling me wow this is the guys that were just from uh, Mokto 10 poultry. So they want to confirm if uh, if uh, uh, everything is in position because I... Oh guys, uh, yeah. look at this. This is a pumpkin here. It's from up there. 
and it's just coming to this position until down there so look at this wow. i like it look at the fruit here this is the fruit it's coming bigger and bigger somebody has ever seen this one here maybe somebody has ever seen this it's becoming uh, streamlined but very big big enough look at where even it's coming so it's a uh, look at where it's coming to so it, it will go up to down there that's how it's uh, practiced and to this position wow so today i want to be taking a little uh, position i want to go around to see my my goats then uh, i know how they're just uh, prepared and everything gonna be very fantastic from this position even my maze here guys <laughs> i talked about uh, i have uh, Oh, I saw fruit somewhere, guys. I saw fruit somewhere. So let's pass through a fruit first. I get a passion fruit, then uh, I had to see uh, the monkeys. The monkeys are making destroying. They are destroying everything. So I was forgetting my fruit here, which is a passion fruit. Wow. It's the pobo plant. Very tall. Very, very tall. <laughs> very tall. So here yeah, are the passion fruits here. Yeah. So I wanna pluck one. I saw it. Or it has already gone. I saw it here. Yeah. Yeah, I have to pick a stick guys because uh, it's a little bit far. Or I will jump. It's there. I will jump. Today I'm gonna be exercising the jumping position here. So let me not uh, um the other ones. And also, hey, it's stoned. You know, guys, uh, it was put in a, a, a lemon tree. So, you know, the lemon tree has some of, uh, like this one, thorns. So, if you misplace yourself, your hand might be in, in serious danger. Hey, but it is far. This one, guys. I want this. It, it, is, it is ripe. So, let me cut, cut here. Hey, I'm getting stuck. So, I want to be jumping. One. So guys, I don't know if I reach, I will reach it. I've got it, but okay, once, once more. Wow, I like this. It's ripe. Wow, one. So let me take this one as part of me. And uh, but I hear some copyrights from down here. So I want to be cutting the video from this position. Then I'll, I'll, I'll start it where now the music is. You know guys, even here at home, I have implemented, I have a, a barber, a person who is shaving kids and to this area because uh, you have to come from this area. It's like 500 meters from here to Nyabuanse. So I have, a, I have, a, it's called, a, here we call it Kinyozi, a barber shop. I have opened it here where I have, a, I have a, the goats keeping. So I have opened here a little bit of a, a barber shop and uh, the kids are getting, everything is fine. Wherever we have 10 shillings, 20 shillings, we are making our sequence to move. The assets are moving. Fantastic. Guys, I had to put the noise off because here we have, hey, hey, the speakers are ringing like German. And we have a machine down here. You know, here now we have uh, the, this is just like a pathway. It's passing through here, accessing my home up there. But here is also my home. So, and to this position, guys, uh, I have some of, uh, look at this. So I have people who are coming here to be shaved. Even whenever you sit here, you see the mirror. Wagwan, you see yourself and to this position. So this is the position relevant for now. Eh, Baba, Baba shop. This is a Baba shop area. So this is where even some uh, kids, uh, some uh, local members who want to be shaved, they're gonna be coming here. So as uh, we have uh, more of the time and uh, we can just talk about uh, they can just get an experience of uh, being shaved and also it's one of the assets that we are withstanding with so as uh, we can move together as a team my goats are here they're now evening but uh, the you know now guys uh, whenever we talk about goats they are uh, the animals that you you always open them to go out after lunch so uh, but the cows they have to go out very early in the morning so as they can just you know the stomachs are big they have three stomachs uh obmasam rebnam i don't know what something like that you know obmasam uh, they have three stomachs so uh, uh so that's why now you can even see into this position the goats uh, it's claiming of the kid yeah the kid is now in so it's now the feeding time you know you they 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 are feeding on leaves 
not grass guys but here you can even see this one wow so i have some goats here and they're experiencing some of a very fantastic time ever possible from this position so we're gonna be they're gonna be put inside and everything gonna be very fantastic look at this this i don't know the, the young one of a the young one of a of a goat is called what a man Young one of our goats is a Because this is my maze asset here. Hey, hey. Maybe I pass inside here so as a. Okay. But we have uh, monkeys are destroying. Monkeys are making chaos from this village. And I talked about I want to be having a zoo of, um, of monkeys. One day, one time here. Because uh, they are destroying my maze and you can never spot them. Whenever they see you, they go up the tree so as they can see you in an aerial manner. Whenever you just disappear, they they just go in now. I have to bisect it because kids want to some fruits. Mm. Eh? Yeah. Okay. Hi. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Is it now good? Hi, Kula. Kula. Wow. Very nice, eh? Bye. Bye. Wow. Uh, just the kids, guys. <laughs> they have to eat whatever I have. So I had that passion fruit. I could not just pass the kids because uh, they have spotted it already. You have to be so generous about kids and everything like that. So they don't know what is happening here. But uh, this is my village too. You know, even they know me. So that's why a kid cannot even uh, get to know that uh, Aura asks you something. Whenever he or she, she doesn't know who you are. Here is the road. To Nyabo. Hansel, live life. The main road. Wow. Now a little bit heading to Nyabo Hansel. And I'm going to be having a little bit of chit chat from Nyabo Hansel. Live life. Wow. So it's uh, on top. I'm just heading on top. And that's how things gonna be moving from this position towards uh, Nyabuhanse live life. Wow, we have a very big bumps here. But uh, this is what is called uh, Africa. Even these bumps here, they're not even uh, marked. It's a bump, but uh, even you cannot spot it if you are not. <laughs> so you might find yourself hitting it. It's not even marked. So here in Africa, that's how we operate. So you'll see even here we have some of the vehicles bringing some of our emergency brakes. This is called Africa and everything you have to consider it manually, manually done. Whenever you come here, we don't know anything. You find yourself in a position you have never been seen. So, but uh, onto this position, we have a little bit of, uh, we talk about uh, the small spotted one. We have this one small one so this one trigger and they show you that uh, maybe we have uh, a very big bump in front of you so whenever you hey, whenever you just bump it you just sense there's a very big bump in front of you so these are called the sensors yeah sensors so whenever you hit one you go for you go in front then you get the next one so that's how everything is just moving from this position so I'm heading to Nyabuanse. Keep it in touch. I'm going to be there. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Itanas Kogintu. And uh, I told you I'm going to be coming to Nyabuanse a little bit. But uh, I have a, a, mis a challenge today because uh, I have my grandmother who is uh, a little bit sick. And uh, even here you can see the drip. Uh, these are for water and everything like that. So I have her here. She's so old. Look at her. Jesus. She's my grandmother, live life, one on one live from this segment. And uh, most of the guys have seen uh, her with the Nasto mostly has ever done some videos uh, bringing some of uh, the mattress, uh, surprising her. So today she's very sick. You can even see uh, the hand here. And uh, uh, she can just uh, talk about uh, one beer. Hello. Umepata nafu. Unajuanga kingereza. <laughs> we have to laugh a little bit because uh, she's a little bit sick and uh, we have to enjoy guys uh, because uh, she's a uh, uh, 90 years live life we are here for 90 years guys so uh, she's here a little bit she has a uh, uh, malaria malaria 
Tumbo. Tumbo. Stomach. Stomach ache. Kwarisha damu. Jesus, the area of uh, blood. Jesus. So we have a challenge here. So she's here a little bit and uh, she's admitted to this hospital. We always uh, uh, get uh, this hospital that uh, brought uh, its uh, facility uh, to Ayamara during the party time. And uh, we are here a little bit to check on how things will be moving with her here. And uh, she's going to be treated a little bit. Uh, oh, you, uh, she's under treatment and uh, she's going to be okay. And Sai uh, Sasunaskiaja. Oh, she is talking about uh, now the stomach is a little bit uh, uh, talking about uh, it's uh, getting uh, good care and uh, uh, she's not feeling the way she came here and to that position but now she's feeling a little bit good and uh, which kind of a problem she I'm just asking her if she has a little bit of uh, any other problem maybe at this position Okay, she's talking about uh, she's uh, uh, maybe I don't know which kind of uh, sickness is that, but the array of blood, and uh, it's one of uh, the critical situations ever possible coming out from her. And uh, it's not that uh, maybe she's not eating well, maybe or kuna kuna unakuwa na upungu for chakula. She doesn't have any problem with food. Uh, the only problem is uh, maybe you talk about uh, it's about. Uh, 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 maybe age because age sometimes brings some chaos. So she's here 90 plus years and uh, she can even uh, stand and uh, whenever she's sick you can even walk to this position. I see some of the thermos here. Maybe she was uh, taking some tea. Uh, I'm asking her if uh, she can eat something here. Yeah. She doesn't have appetite for food and sasa utakula nini? matunda matunda. Okay, she's talking about uh, the only thing she can just get is a little bit of fruits and uh, the other food which is a solidified, most of solidified like ugali, like something else, she doesn't need that one. She doesn't have that appetite of getting some food. So I always, guys, uh, get a little bit time whenever. This is where even um, Priska Sagati was uh, admitted to this uh, other extra bed and to this position and uh, this is where I always come to this hospital to check on how every patient is ongoing with the treatment or whenever she needs something like fruits I'm gonna be going to bring her some fruits so that she can enjoy the meal of a uh, supper because uh, by now it's an evening time and everything gonna be very fantastic for uh, for you guys uh, I'm ever uh, to uh, bring this kind of a uh, videos because uh, I do support such kind of uh, the elder even children even anyone who need uh, any attention from or uh, we can talk about uh, any support from us we're gonna be uh, applying our own uh, uh, we can get a little bit of money or uh, get some of them a little bit of fruit so as they can just uh, uptake so she's here so I'm asking her because uh, uh, so she was admitted yesterday and uh, uh, which is uh, 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 because they're always using a card here we have what is called NHIF card which is uh, used for most of the patients if uh, you can just pay at it uh, during the month and uh, 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 everything will be on the card Okay, the card, eh? So it's a card that's even being used here so as uh, she can be treated and everything gonna be very fantastic So from your care and uh, everything gonna be very secure and we're gonna be praying to her to get a reposition coming out from this hospital once and for all and whenever she got at home i'm gonna be bringing you the video because uh, she's the one who is uh, a little bit uh, uh, to my home it's like uh, 200 meters from my home and uh, you get to her home and uh, everything is very fantastic i'll always uh, take care of the elder guys who are unto the village mostly one day maybe i will bring you this such kind of a video that i'll be doing with the elder people who are just uh, need more of the support even there's a uh, people who are outside there like um, the elderly but even they cannot even speak because of uh, their age they cannot uh, depend on themselves so i'm gonna be bringing you the video so as uh, we can even help them like her here uh, so she has a problem and right now here she is uh, resting a little bit because she's from the drip it's just uh, into this position 
so as uh, she can relax and get a little bit of satin. So guys, uh, keep it in touch, keep it locked. I wanna be bringing much of the videos coming out from the hospital whenever I have time to check on them and everything gonna be very secure. From every week, I'm gonna be checking whoever will be just onto this ward mostly and I wanna be uh, uh, getting them some fruits and also I come faster, I ask whatever she needs to eat because uh, everyone has his own appetite before she uh, have to uh, order for something because uh, here at the hospital, so I'm the one even supplying some of the feed, some of the, the greens mostly and uh, I know some people don't need uh, appetite sometimes so they don't need much of uh, the greens, some people need the fruits so I'm the one supplying some of uh, the, uh, um, we talk about the greens at the hospitals here in Yabuasa. Keep it in touch, keep it locked, I'm going to be giving you more of the update coming out from this segment of uh, the hospital right now here and everything is more reliable. Thank you very much, keep it in touch.